Good morning dear students, we are going to discuss about concrete which is very important ingredient in the modern construction industry. The technology of structural engineering, research and development of civil engineering and infrastructure development of the entire world. The concrete is having its importance as it is defined, it is a mixture of paste and aggregate. Cement is the main ingredient of concrete which is a fine powder when mixed with water, sand and crushed stone it makes the solid moss which is called as concrete. The plain cement concrete is just implementing the strength in tension but it is not showing strength in tension. So concrete is strong in compression concrete is weak in tension. In order to compensate the strength of uh, uh, cement concrete along with tension and compression, we make use of plain cement concrete. In order to improve the plain cement concrete, we are making reinforced cement concrete in which steel is introduced into the concrete and uh, the reinforced cement concrete is having ingredients, sand, coarse aggregate, water, cement along with steel which is strong in tension. Already concrete is strong in compression. So in order to make better concrete, concrete with better strength in tension as well as compression, RCC is the good option. We make use of the RCC for slab, beam, column, foundation and precast industry etc. So cement, the cement is the binding material. Cement is having a lot of strength. Cement only imparting strength to the concrete. But the cement which is the wonderful invention of the entire era invented by Aspidin is not good for environmental reasons because it is producing lot of carbon dioxide while manufacturing process is being done for cement. But it is quite inevitable that cement should be used for making powerful construction. We will see the advantage and disadvantages of cement. Cement is strong, it creates a large structure quickly, it conforms to different shapes and it is having high thermal mass. But the advantage is it is subjected to cracking. Because of cement only, we have lot of cracking in cement concrete structures. It is very difficult to provide the curing condition because it needs uh, water for making uh, hydration process and because of cement it seems that lot of settlement has been taken place in cement concrete structures. So we will we'll just see into the manufacturing process. This is the cement manufacturing process. We have two different process of cement manufacturing. The one is related to dry process, other one is related to wet process. This is the flow chart which is showing the manufacturing process of dry process as well as the wet process. Cement raw materials are being ground and added with water in wet process. In dry process the addition of water is being limited. Then hydration takes place, clinker is added to add some other features in the cement. Then heating, cooling alternatively done, we are making use of mill for those things. Then finally the cement bag has come out. In the process of the manufacturing, we are making use of the equipments and uh, the process, procedural process as shown in the figure. These are all the different photographs related to the manufacturing process of uh, cement. And we have a lot of uh, cement types. Ordinary Portland cement is called as OPC. And rapid ordinary cement is one more type. And extra rapid ordinary cement is also there. Sulphate resisting cement is there. Quick setting cement. And low heat cement. Pasolana cement. Portland slag cement. High alumina cement air and training cement 
and super sulfated cement, masonry cement, expansive cement, color cement, white cement. We have a lot of cements. Different types of cements are used in the industry to make different types of cement concrete structures. Actually, Portland cement is the very popular type of cement. It is called OPC, Ordinary Portland Cement. It is having uh, more popularity because of its simplicity and functioning is not having any complex uh, reasoning. So, Portland cement is making better concrete with less cost. And this chemical composition is with lime, silica, alumina, iron oxide, magnesia, soda, potassia and sulfuric anhydride. So that uh, ingredients are making the cement as strong. Then we have to discuss about hydration. The chemical process in which cement ingredients are react with water is called hydration. Tricalcium silicate plus water makes calcium silicate hydrate and calcium hydroxide along with the heat. So it is process in which heat is evolved. So the reaction of cement with water is exothermic. The reaction liberates a considerable quantity of heat. So the quantity of heat that is the uh, unhydrated cement is making evolved with the hydration process which needs a lot of water to get compensated. So the heat of hydration is the study about the mass construction especially related to dam construction and all. That heat evolved due to the reaction of solution of uh, aluminate and sulphate is the main content of the manufacturing process. So the structure of the hydrated cement paste is making an important role in the uh, structure the internal angular particles and the size ranges related to the inside cement that is the structural form of the cement concrete or cement paste inside the concrete which makes the reason with heat of hydration. So water requirement of hydration is about 23% uh, of the water by weight of cement is required for the complete hydration process. So the 15% by weight and along with the extra uh, heat we are making the water requirement as it is given above. Along with cement we have fine aggregate sand and coarse aggregate gravel, crushed stone etc to make the concrete strong. We will make some discussion about fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. So the basic function of the aggregate is it imparts strength and it is giving volume stability and hardness for the concrete material. So the fine aggregate is having size less than 4.75 mm. It is 39 percentage to 49 percent of the mass volume transfer. The coarse aggregate is having size greater than 4.75 mm and typically it ranges from uh, 9.5 to 37.5 mm size. So the properties of fine aggregate is first of all it is a filler and also along with the coarse aggregate it is making the uh, role in the strength of the cement concrete. So the properties of coarse aggregate is it is making the shape and the size and surface texture which gives the form of concrete. The properties are so maximum aggregate size is 2.36 for sand and for crushed stone it is 19. Specific gravity is 2.56, crushed stone it is 2.71. Absorption capacity 1.21 percentage for crushed stone is 0.45. The unit weight is having specific for local sand and 155, 1556 for the unit aggregate. The finest model is 2.73 and 6.74. These are all the basic properties of the fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. Water cement ratio is an important parameter which is to be considered while we are talking about quality of concrete. Water cement ratio is directly depending upon the quality of concrete. Our quality of concrete is directly having influenced by water cement ratio. So 
So, the water cement ratio is usually 0 0.5 for normal concrete. Adding water will reduce the strength of concrete and can cause segregation. So, excess amount of water is very dangerous. Water is required, water is essential. We got without water, we cannot uh, have workability of concrete. When there is no workability of concrete, concrete cannot be made according to the size and shape. But when we add excess water, it becomes problematic. In order to make the uh, strength of concrete, water cement ratio should be used optimum level. So, water cement ratio according to Duff Abram, it is directly proportional to the strength of concrete. When we have more water cement ratio, strength will be reduced. When we have less water cement ratio, strength will be more. So, it is directly depending upon water cement ratio according to Abraham's law. Abraham's law is given uh, such a graph to indicate the strength versus water cement ratio. It is an important indicator. It is the parameter which decides the final strength of concrete according to Abraham. And for 136 concrete, we need 34 liter of water. For 124 concrete, 30 liter only. 1 is to 1.5 is to 3, 27 liter. And 112, 25 liters. This is a different ratio of concrete, the amount of water to be added for 50 kg of cement. So, you should not make excess water under any situation. Next. The next point is related to quality of water. The quality of water, quality of water is actually the important criterion for making the concrete which is uh, safe from efflorescence and uh, segregation. Sea water should not be used because sea water is having lot of chlorides which causes dampness and efflorescence which will spoil the appearance of the surface of concrete. So, the risk of corrosion is also there. When corrosion is there, it directly affects the reinforcement bar. So, sea water should not be used. We have to use potable water. We are using water for the drinking purpose. The same quality of water should be used for the concreting purpose. As already we have discussed, concrete is making lot of environmental issues because while manufacturing cement, carbon dioxide is getting emitted. When we produce more carbon dioxide, it is making environmental issues. So, it is directly hazardous to the atmosphere. So, we can make use of the admixtures for uh, replacing, uh, partially replacing the cement and we can make use of some other admixtures to improve the quality of co concrete without increasing the amount of cement. So, different uh, admixtures are being discussed, chemical admixture, air entertaining agents, colouring pigments, accelerators, retarders and water reducers. We will discuss about different types of admixtures of concrete. So, the admixture is added to the concrete to improve the quality and fly ash, silica fume, ground granulated blast furnace slag, metacolin and rice husk ash are the different admixtures we are, used, we are using for uh, mineral admixture used for concreting. <coughs> the mineral admixture as well as uh, artificial pasalanas are shown here, clay shales and uh, cherts are the natural pasalona and the artificial mineral admixtures are fly ash, blast furnace slag, silica fume, rice husk ash, metacolin and surki. So, the fly ash is the most often we are using the mineral admixture. So, a large amount of silica and alumina and a small amount of uh, carbon are having fly ash which is giving very good strength to the concrete and concrete becomes eco-friendly. So, GGBS is ground granulated blast furnace slag. It is called as uh, GGBS in common. It is having a lot of good quality related to the strength and when it makes as a, when it is when it's made as fine powder, it makes very good uh, quality of the concrete related to the paste as well as the function. Silica film is the very fine non-crystalline silica. 
it is produced in the furnaces which is also used for uh, concreting it is called as micro silica in common. So rice was starch is the recent uh, addition as the uh, mineral and mixture which is also making lot of research and development related to make uh, environmental friendly concrete. And metacondrite is one more uh, admixture. Chemical admixtures are added to the concrete in order to reduce the water and making the improved viscosity. It is called viscosity modifying admixture VMA. So viscosity is the resistance of flu fluid to flow. The slower the fluid flows the greater will be the viscosity. So viscosity modifying admixture is used for the modern special concrete. We are using super plasticizer along with viscosity modifying admixture to just reduce the water. That super plasticizer nowadays is very common and we have to use super plasticizer in order to make special concrete. Compaction and consolidation are two different parameters. When we just take air out of the concrete and we are taking the moisture out of the concrete. So in order to make durable concrete we should make the compaction properly and self compacting concrete is the special solution for this. So we can make strength as well as economy and durability making admixtures, chemical admixture and mineral admixture along with, the, along with the concrete. And that makes the high performance concrete. So this definition is clearly indicated that requires the concrete which makes performance not only related to strength, durability but also for serviceability of the concrete. So concrete is an important uh, feature which is helping the civil engineers to make the great structures with the great uh, serviceability aspects and the performance is being appreciated by the entire world. Thank you.